Mastering English conditionals. Don't fall into these traps. Hello, learners. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to unravel some of the most common mistakes people make while using conditionals in English. Understanding these will not only help you communicate more effectively, but it will also give your English a smoother, more natural flow. We'll walk through common mistakes and give you some tips for correct usage. So, let's dive in. One of the most common mistakes is mixing up the different types of conditionals. Remember that there are four types of conditionals in English, each used for different scenarios. Zero conditional for general truths or habits. First conditional for real and possible situations. Second conditional for unreal or improbable situations. Third conditional for impossible situations, because they're in the past. Tip. Always consider the situation you're talking about, then choose the right conditional. Misusing them can change the meaning of your sentence completely. The correct tense usage in conditionals is crucial. For example, in a third conditional sentence, the if clause uses the past perfect tense while the main clause uses the perfect conditional or perfect continuous conditional. Tip. Pay close attention to the tenses used in each type of conditional clause. This will help you structure your sentences correctly. Sometimes learners invert the if clause and the main clause, but forget to adjust the sentence structure. This results in sentences that can be grammatically incorrect or awkward sounding. Tip. Remember, it's fine to invert the if clause and the main clause, but be careful with the sentence structure. For example, if I were you, I would study, can be inverted to, I would study if I were you. In some languages, conditional clauses don't always need a conjunction like, if. However, in English, it's essential. Tip. Always remember to use, if, to introduce the conditional clause. Without it, your sentence might not make sense. That wraps up our guide on common mistakes with English conditionals and tips to avoid them. Remember, practice is key. The more you use these structures, the more natural they will become. Don't worry about making mistakes, they're part of the learning process. We hope this video has been helpful, and we'll see you in the next one.